Hi there, crafty people. This is Pam with Pam's Paper Place. I thought I'd show you uh, some of my journals. I'm starting a, I've been starting a journal collection. I just thought I'd show them to you. They're all so beautiful. Let's start out with this one from my friend Dale. This is the second one I bought from her. Uh, her channel is Not Too Shabby Chic. It's beautiful. The back has got all the stitching, like a patchwork with paper, and it's got this gauze here. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at the image here. It's got this pretty little bow and buttons and a little um, metal piece, some like tape there, vintage look tape, a little flower here with some twine, this beautiful angel, and it's got a pretty ribbon wings, and then this little fringe and another pretty little piece there. And then I'll just open it up. And here we have a pocket. It's got a couple little, not pretty little bird tag. And then we have some paper. Here's some like a cloth fabric trim with these cool index cards here. They look like vintage index cards. Pretty. And they go in his pocket. I love it, Dale. And then it has this lace and this trim. Um, this botanical print here with some more of that cheesecloth. A little collage piece with laces here. Then we have some nice little stitching here, uh, gauze and a little bird flower. And then here, a little um, Bible verse and a vintage playing card. So stamping there, I like a lot of detail because I don't journal really so much. Um, I mean, I have one or two that I put in, like swaps and names and addresses and things that I bought. Um, I kind of use that with my journals, but I just enjoy looking at them. They don't have to be for writing for me. I just like to look at them. Here's some cool fringe at the bottom. And then we have this cute little guy here, Elf, with some papers. A bunch of papers here more of this cheesecloth you have uh, this windmill and I thought yeah this is mine I'm Dutch so half Dutch half German a little English so I thought this is probably supposed to be my journal and then there's some beautiful birds I love birds another pocket and then here we have this a uh, little cute little vintage uh, little girl and um, this really cool paper here. It's hard to get it all in. I think I sent you this trim, Dale. And then this really neat stitching. Looks like coffee dyed paper. Um, we have this corrugated uh, pocket here with lace and eyelash trim. And a little vintage piece here. And a tag. Cute little butterfly with that bow, more stitching. So we hope to meet up someday, but she lives quite a ways away, but we'll figure out at some point. And then they have this little belly band, this pretty rose here. Stitching around this paper and her inking is really cool here. Um, and we got this thicker tag. This is fabric beautiful and then I like this stitching along this vintage um, addition card or subtraction card it's so visually appealing I love it more stitching and here we have this 
a real pretty um, image here. Looks vintage. And then it's got a cheesecloth. We have a really cool little button. And another little button here. And a little butterfly and this doily that's been inked. A lot of layering here. I love these buttons. Some music paper. And look at this cute little tag with all these papers in it. And this cute little pocket. And then we have this tag. Look at this, how cute this is. A little stamping, and these are so tiny and cute. I love those. Cute. Beautiful job, Dale. And here we have some more collaging here. Lots of fibers, a key, fabrics, buttons. And then I think this is a paper clip here. It is. Pretty little paper clip, and it has this little journal card with some fun stitching. And then that held this postcard on too. I love vintage postcards. There's some more fabric. Here's one of these um, stickers that you can get. Um, cute little elements here with lace and cute cards that are tucked in or another Bible verse. So pretty. Lots of room if you would like to write or add whatever else you want here. We have a couple pockets here. This little uh, callback memo, vintage callback memo. Look at this, cute. Goes in there. We have another pocket here. And we have a pocket at the top with a vintage little card here. I'll put all the links um, in the description box. Here's a pretty, looks like a postcard. And then you have this tag with a pretty um, lace to on it, and then it opens up. And it's fun, so fun to look at. And then a little layered piece there and some um, pretty garden page. And then you have another one of these little stickers. Here's the middle of the signature. It says inspire. And then you have these leaves, metal leaves. It says inspired. And then, you know, I have my heater on. I wonder if that's too loud. I want to turn it off. I keep forgetting. I know it's the middle of May, but I think it's going to get warmer today. Um, another one of these pretty stickers in the garden page. Awesome stitching. And then look at this little altered paper clip. This beautiful vintage postcards from Washington, Mount Rainier. Lived near there at one point. Oh, and this opens up. And then this goes here. Then you have another little postcard. And you have another altered paper clip. See how fun this is? Cute. And a fun little tea bag that's been altered into a shaker. Postcards. I'll put that back later. Then we have another little paper clip. It's got some pretty, a little bow on it. Precious. Isn't that beautiful? Postcard. Oregon. 
My son lives in Portland, oldest one. And then we have music paper and that fabric ruffle. And there's the other side of the doily. There's a cute little doily. What a wonderful world. Oh, happy day. And look at this cool postcard. Giant Sakia tree. Then we have lace here and a little, um, looks like a little daisy die cut. Here we have a little pocket. I will conquer. And here's a pretty little postcard. And here we have a little fabric collage or fabric little flip up with um, some crochet. Here's a cute little wood button. And this is a little, oh, look how cute it goes around. And then you got a bunch of papers in here. I like that idea for a closure. Might have to use that idea, Dale. And then these are so cute. Tucks up there. We have a little fabric lace trim. And look at she's stamped on there. Beautiful. A little ruffle. And we have another pocket with a pretty postcard. State Flower of Texas. Used to live there. And then a little vegetable recipe so that is my journal for my collection from Dale not too shabby chic I love it and then the next one that I have I'd like to share with you I did a swap I saw this journal and I loved it and uh, this is from Heather Heather Feltman I'll add her um, link in the description and I loved it so much I said are you selling this I'd like to buy it and she said well why don't we do a swap so I sent her or like a shabby chic one uh, she made this daisy so cute and then it has this little striped fabric here look how cute that is with the elastic then you have elastic closure with this yellow button I love it Heather and then this, um, I think these digitals are from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. Very pretty. She cut this out and stitched all around. I like that background paper. She does a very nice job. These, This is like a nap, uh, utensil holder. I love that idea. And then she's got all these pretty laces. This is a double lace, a little yellow in this eyelet. So pretty. I love blue and yellow. Look at this beautiful tag. She's got fabric, and then this little card, and then she's got this flower, zigzagged. Gorgeous combination, this little daisy and this trim here. This is a, a dotted Swiss. Love this. This is uh, this little piece sewn onto this uh, lace. And then I like this idea of the uh, layered fabrics. It's more of that pretty digital kit. Isn't that beautiful? From Ellie. And we have a little flip tuck. It's pretty barn wood. And look at this stamping. It does such a great job. And she has this little tiny um, metal piece there and really pretty lace stitched around. It's gorgeous. This um, is a little postcard and look at she's got a little um brad there on the daisy look how pretty this is a little lace here she cut that all out sewed around it fabric here beautiful and then look how cute that is with a little flower so it's fun to collect from other people other creators nice stamping 
And then here's a little tuck here. And then, oh, she put little gold in the centers. Gorgeous. Little ledger. Ticket with some of the paper here. And uh, more beautiful trim and more daisies from the kit. And then here is a really beautiful altered envelope. And then it has a little um, Velcro closure. you got a ribbon and lace on this flower. That opens up. Beautiful. So pretty. Love it. Love that yellow. Daisy backed with some fabric. She fussy cut that out. Fussy cut that. And we have another little flower here. And then we have these cute cards. Uh, rick, um, yeah, Rick Rack here. On that ledger. Pretty stamp. And then here we have a double pocket. Some pretty tags. Is there a die cut flower? Whoops. Right there. Super beautiful. And then this is a little like tags with these cute little um, ties here. It's like a tuck and a little fabric heart and a little daisy. So beautiful. Her stamping is so nice. And then she added a ribbon, a little daisy flower. Um, we have like, looks like dyed paper here. And then here's a little booklet. I just have so much fun looking at these. And then here's a little belly band. Beautiful journal card. It's got a cute little file folder here. And look how pretty that is. Pretty paper in the back with this eyelet trim. I love eyelet trim. So pretty. And it's um, tied in. I've never, I don't think I've done one of these where they're, um, you know, has the elastic closures. I'll have to try that. Here's a little tuck. Beautiful digis from uh, Elsie Bell's bookshelf. And we have a little altered, um, like an index card. Here's two double layers of this yellow and this eyelet. So sweet. Pretty paper. Oops. I missed one. And then we have this here. I love that gingham behind there. Look at that. So pretty. Those colors. Beautiful stamping. Sweet little gingham. More little gingham behind there. I like that. She added some little sparkles to the center. Cute. This little ruffle and baby rickrack and this blue is so pretty. Cute. Gorgeous. And then this is so pretty for writing. A little um, stamp there. Look at this yellow and blue. And then the daisy trim and another little trim there. Awesome job. Very pretty. Daisy stamp. She uh, fussy cut that and put a little fabric behind there. Another fabric. I like that. With a fabric behind. Look how cheerful and pretty. And this has a little a daisy and a little Velcro. You put something in there. It's the middle of the second signature. A little ticket there. It's so cheerful and fun. A little paper and Colorful daisy. I should cut that. Plus, I cut that for a belly band. Oh, look how pretty that is. I love that stamp. And then here she added a trim here. And look how cute. Sweet. So, two different styles that I both love. One's more kind of. Um, you know, not too shabby, like, you know, her channel says more grunge. And this is, you know, more sweet, very clean cut um, style. But I love them both. I love so many different styles. She fussy cut that out. 
It's just very interesting to me. It's just so fun to collect. So I've been collecting for a little while. I think I've added some of my other journals way back in the videos. Um, and I'll just continue to uh, add to my collection. Look at that. It's like um, embossed. Pretty, pretty trim. And then you have this eyelet. So sweet. Trim here. I hope I'm not going to run out of time. These cute little cards. I like that on the edge there. And this has a little, um, I'll show you, this clear there for the pocket. Sweet. And then you put it like that, and there's that background. Very clever. Here's another one of these little, um, like it's a utensil type. Put your utensils in here and use it as a pocket. Look at this. Pretty. Love it. And then this little card here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, look how sweet. And then they got this little jean pocket with the daisies. I love it. I love all of these. All of my journals. I cherish them. Thank you. Thank you, both ladies. And the last one, I may have to... Um, uh, splice in uh, this you know if it cuts out because um, I think I had my phone video phone only video up to about 30 minutes this one is from Anna's Chateau so pretty so one signature and this pretty batik fabric and then she hand sewed all this around and then she's got a fabric here a little image this little image, it's kind of a boho gypsy, she um, labeled it as. A little ins inspiration, some pretty beads here. So I love this too, Anna. And it's got washi tape. I have some of this uh, paper, I love that paper. Yeah, here it is, Anna's Chateau. Etsy shop is Anna's Chateau. So I will link those. Uh, has a pretty pink library card in there and a little booklet. Pretty papers. It's colorful, fun, eclectic. And then she's got more beautiful washi here. And then a couple little cute tags and a little receipt. There. So fun. So fun. You know, it's nice that we're, we don't all have the same style. That's what makes it interesting and fun. Here's some um, washi and a little playing card and a little tag. That gingham. Here's like a calendar type page. And this is Seven Gypsies. Nice paper. I like the way it feels. Music page. Here we have clipped, I think this is a note card, and a little tag. <clears throat> I like the paper. Choices, fun, here's another tag, and then here's a cut off paper that you could journal on. Or do whatever you want. So I could decorate this more, I could jot down uh, notes, I could, um, you know, like I said, uh, record the journals I've sold or you know the swaps I've done or you know journals I bought or happy mails you know with the addresses of people and here's another little pocket tag little image there it's eclectic and fun it's like coffee dyed paper and another little card. This looks like a gypsy. Here's a little envelope. Another little tuck with pretty washi. Cute tag. I like the way that's layered. Another floral book. Cute tag. And a little tiny pocket. And then we have a little sale ticket. 
And then papers, you just have to sew that in or however you want it. Beautiful paper. I'll put that in later. A little accounting ledger sheet. I think I have this paper too. It's real pretty because I like the yellow and the blue. And another um, gypsy. Seven gypsies, is that what it's called? Pretty, the blues and yellows. Some copy dyed paper. Some more pretty papers, copy dyed papers. For journaling uh, just a nice mix of things paper clipped in here's the middle of the signature with some pretty yellow um, strings I like the feel of this paper coffee dyed beautiful image more beautiful tags I think I'm running out of time layaway tag here like that layering Dream, a little bingo card, pretty, more tags, I like how that's put on the side like that, a little floral flower page, that's a fun way to add an image, a little guest check, beautiful, so pretty. So here's another style. I love them all. A ledger, one of these library cards, a little bingo in there. Pretty paper. I think we might make it. And we have music, and then the Seven Gypsy, beautiful paper. And then here we have a little vellum with a little library card, and another little card, and a little yellow tag. So pretty gingham, coffee dyed, and a little pocket on the side. So sweet. Oh, and even a pocket here with some stationery in it. So I love this one too. Thank you, Anna. It's gorgeous, all of them. I love, love, love. Okay, I think I might have three minutes. I just want to show you I'm making journals. Somebody requested a um, Mary Englebright journal. So I've got three in the works. Um, you know, I don't have the closures or you know, totally finished, but um, this one's um, going to be a spring one, very pretty, and then she's going to choose which one that she wants, and then um, I, I want one, and then I'll list one. This is the wallpaper, but this one's pretty. They're all Mary Englebright uh, fabrics. Um, that's that one, Living Hands at Home. This one's kind of home theme. The other one was, uh, they have all different Englebright pages and papers and cards in them. All you need is a friend. And then this one is kind of a country farmhouse one. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> they're not totally finished, but uh, this is kind of what they're going to be like. So, um those will be coming up. Hopefully I can list them tomorrow. Or uh, I, I want to see which one she wants. And then I'll list one and I'm going to keep one. I like them all. It doesn't matter to me. This would be the spring one. This would be kind of a home theme one. And this one would be the country farmhouse one. So uh, I'll just wait and see after I post the video showing the flip through of these three. And then she can tell me which one she wants. And then I'm going to list uh, one of these in my Etsy pen to paper by Pam. So thanks so, so much for watching uh, my journal collection. I uh, hope you're all having a great day. Um, take care. Bye-bye.